The North Dakota Highway Patrol has now identified the Mercer County, North Dakota deputy killed in a pursuit crash on Wednesday as 53-year-old Paul Martin of Beulah, North Dakota. Deputy Martin was an 18-year veteran with the Mercer County Sheriff's Office and is survived by his wife and three children. Please an ambulance, please an ambulance, please respond to Buffalo Hill. Buffalo Hill for a head-on collision law enforcement vehicle versus a fleeing vehicle. A Mercer County deputy was killed trying to stop a pursuit late Wednesday afternoon while standing by his vehicle deploying stop sticks when his squad was struck by Ian Kramer, who was being pursued. He's the son of North Dakota Senator Kevin Kramer. According to statements from the Highway Patrol and Senator Kramer, 42-year-old Ian Kramer suffers from serious mental disorders and had been taken to Sanford Emergency Room in Bismarck by his mother when Wednesday because Ian wanted to be with his brother Ike, who died of alcohol abuse in 2018. At the hospital, Ian jumped into the uh, driver's seat of a Tahoe and took off. His sister was able to track his cell phone, where a pursuit ended uh, just west of Hazen on Buffalo Hill at 5.39 p.m. Mountain Time Wednesday. Please respond to Buffalo Hill. Buffalo Hill for a head-on collision law enforcement vehicle versus a fleeing vehicle car is on fire the patrol says during the pursuit, the vehicle Kramer was driving veered and crashed head-on into an unoccupied Mercer County Sheriff's Office patrol vehicle that was parked on a roadside approach. The Sheriff's Office vehicle was displaying its emergency lights at the time. The deputy was standing outside behind the patrol vehicle when it was struck. The impact of the crash pushed the patrol vehicle into the deputy, killing him. At the time, the deputy was preparing to deploy a tire deflation device in an attempt to end the pursuit. Kramer was taken into custody and transported to the Sakakawea Medical Center in Hazen and uh, then uh, taken to jail. Uh, as of uh, 5.03 a.m. on this uh, Thursday, we do not have a booking photo of him yet. In a statement from Senator Kramer, he says in part, we ask the public for prayers for the lost officer's family and colleagues who serve us every day and are grateful for all they do for us. We also ask God for healing for Ian. We love him and hurt deeply. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for inews.tv.